Revision, Exam 1711-18. Um, so, so the repetition is we go through the exam, not doing anything else than that. I think that's a good, best way to practice now in front of the real exam is to do all the exams. Uh, of course, I'm going to go through the entire course uh, and mention key aspects and so on, but that we will do tomorrow. Um, so that's called course overview. And then let me get, um, I'll share my screen here. Okay, so this is this is today, and you're still having exercises with Daniele. And then tomorrow I do the course overview, and with Daniele you go through an old exam. And here it says no lecture, but uh, I've changed that. So there's going to be a lecture here, and I will do this exam that I should have done here. Sorry, here. So this lecture, this is the day before the real exam. I don't think it makes much sense to go through an exam on that day. So uh, that lecture will... will um, cut it down to one hour and I'll, I'll just be uh, here then asking, you know, last minute, sorry, answering last minute questions. So that's the plan for the rest. I'll, I'll upload a new uh, plan today with this uh, final information corrected. Okay. Now let me see, did I share so you can see, do you still see? Do you see my um, like uh, file folder, or do you still see the, the course plan? Okay, yeah, so then I have to share like this instead. Uh, screen, okay, share screen. Okay, so then we go here to get to these old exams. Before it was written, you can find them at live at Lund, but it seems that page has been shut down. So we uploaded here uh, a zip folder with old exams. They are here. So you can download them if you haven't done so already. And then you open them wherever you want. So mine are here. And then you find this exam 17, 11, 18, here in there. And this one doesn't have solution. So that's why I chose it. Most of the exams in here, you find them with solutions. So the absolutely best way to practice this is to try to solve it without looking at the solutions first. Otherwise, it's close to nothing what you learn from it. I mean, if you get an exercise which looks exactly like the one you looked at, maybe you can solve it by know the parroting style but but other than that the way to learn mathematics is to really um think first how do i approach this problem and then once you've given up with that or at least after giving it some thought you look at okay what's what's the suggested way of solving this problem i mean i mean some some Exercises have different ways of solving them. So just because your idea doesn't show up doesn't mean it's wrong, but but chances are. So <laughs> if, you, if you're insecure, you can always ask me and Daniel if there's an alternative solution. But um, right. So <clears throat> I what I want you to do now is precisely this. So get this exam up, which I suspect that most of you haven't done, and take half an hour to just go through, not try to solve them, because you know this is a five-hour exam, so you won't solve them in half an hour. But read through all the six questions and write down what would your strategy be here? Like just organizing your head, how would I go on about trying to solve this um, question? And then in like half an hour, I will be at the blackboard and I will tell you how to do it. Now, we, we might end up 
short of time for that because that leaves like um, we're going to have a break also, so so it leaves uh, not enough time to go through all of them. But I'll solve that by by doing the final ones over lunch today. So I hope that uh, fits everybody. If not, we need to complain, but uh, too late to change anything right now. Uh, so yeah, so take half an hour, go through the questions, write down maybe the first step to write down like bullet points. First I do this, then I do this, then I do this. And then uh, you will appreciate much more the solutions I'm giving you. 5A has a bug, it says. Uh, that has a bug in the sense that you can't compute the integral. It doesn't mean that you can't write up the expression for for, for the length of, of, of the curve in this case. So, so you can still try to solve 5A as long as you don't start computing something. You can write up a correct expression for that. Okay, so are there any questions? Other than that, I'm gonna log out and log in uh, again in half an hour. All right, so see you in half an hour.